What is the difference between the array's capacity and the array's length? If somebody asks you about how long the DVD array is, what would you answer? You may be answer, it is the number of the DVD box can hold when it is uh, full. Then this is uh, the capacity of the array. And you all may answer, it is uh, how many DVDs is current in this box. Then this is the length of the array. So these two answers have a totally different meaning. Let's create a new DVD array with six elements. Is it a valid operation to insert the element at array at a sixth? Or oh, what about array at tenth? Nope. Neither of these are valid. When we create an array, we specify that it can hold up to only six DVDs. This is the array's capacity. But remember that indexing starts at zero. We can only insert items at array 0, array 1, array 2, array 3, array 4, and array 5. Trying to put any other array anywhere else, such as array at negative 3, array at 6, array at 100, will cause your code to crash with an array index out of the bounds exception. The array's capacity must be decided when the array is created. The capacity cannot be changed later. Going back to our DVDs in cardboard box analogy, changing the capacity of an array could be akin to trying to make a cardboard box bigger. Trying to make a fixed size cardboard box bigger is impractical, and it is the same as an array on the computer. So what do we do if we get a seventh DVDs and we'd like to all our DVDs in the same array? Well, unfortunately, it is the same as it is with our cardboard box. We'll need to get a larger one and then move all the existing DVD into it along with the new one. And the capacity of an array in Java can be checked by looking at the values of its length attribute. This is done by using the code l.length, where l is the name of the array. The different program languages have a different way to check in the length of an array. Another definition of length is the number of DVDs or other items currently in array. This is something you need to well, keep track of yourself. If you overwrite an existing DVD or if you leave a gap in an array, you will get an error. You may have noticed that we have been used an length variable in the previous example to keep track of the next empty index. Uh, let's create a new array. int uh, array uh, a new with a six capacity. Uh, so current length is uh, uh, zero because we have a zero element. And we set a for loop to add a three item in it for uh, declare an uh, integer i and start from the zero and i less than three. Less than three and uh, i plus plus. And the inside for loop is a uh, array uh, at i is a uh, i multiply i multiply multiply i so it's i square so each time we add a uh, element and uh, its uh, length is go by one by one link element by one and then we uh, system dot out dot print uh, print like or print uh, the uh, the uh, array has a kappa uh, has a length of and we add a length here yeah so we can print it out it uh, length is a uh, 3. 
Let's talk about handing array parameters. Most array questions in the LeetCo have a array passed in as a parameters with no length or capacity parameters. What do this mean? Well, let's look at an example. Here is a description for our first problem. You will be asked to solve given a binary array to find the max number of consecutive ones in this array. Here is the code template you are given. The only parameter is length. It is an array. You could probably solve this question without knowing how long the length is. Well, luckily, it is straightforward. When array is given as a parameter without no any additional information, you can safely assume that length is equal to capacity. That is, the array is exactly the right side to hold all of its data and we can therefore use the length variable. But be careful though, arrays are zero indexes, and the capacity and length is a number of the items, not the highest index. So the highest index is the length minus one.